Hello, everybody, and welcome back to That Handicapping Show, sponsored by TwinSpires.com. I'm Jason Chandler. He's Tom Lamara, and this is Tim Holland from Brisnet.com. Today, this week's featured race is the $1 million Woodbine Mile. It's a major prep for the Breeders' Cup Mile in November. And um, a little bit later in the show, we'll touch briefly on the summer stakes for two-year-olds. It's part of a huge weekend at Woodbine where there's five graded stakes. So um, it's all about Woodbine this weekend. Let's start with the mile, guys. And um, the race is uh, on Sunday, which means it draws on Thursday after the taping. We don't have the final uh, field, but we do have a pretty good idea of who's going to be in here based on the probables. And it looks like there's going to be 12 or 13 in here. And not only is there is it a very good field, but there's a lot of big names in here. Um, Court Vision will certainly be one of the favorites. He's a three-time Grade One winner, coming off a little bit of a of a freshening. Um, there's three California shippers in here, led by the usual QT, who might be the best um, turf horse in California. Um, the Europeans are represented by Famous Name, who makes his Europe, uh, I'm sorry, North American debut. And also, um, there's four or five locals in here led by uh, Grand Adventure, who's got two graded wins over the Woodbine course this year alone. So lots of ways to, to go, guys, and a, and a good betting race. And, and Tom, we'll start with you. Yes, it is. It's a really uh, strong wagering race, I think, because um, I don't see like a, a, a heavy favorite in this race. Mm -hmm. And quite frankly, of the list of horses who are supposed to go, it's a really, really strong field. Um, of the California shippers, um, I think Crowded House is the uh, the strongest of that group, and actually, I'm going to pick him on top to win. He is scheduled to be entered. Um, I really liked his uh, his race in the uh, the Pacific Classic on the Poly Track. That was a mile and a quarter. Um, he made an early move toward the top of the stretch. Uh, it looked like he might win, and then Richard's kid just kind of squeezed on past him. But um, this is a turf horse. Um, he actually won a a group one in England, one mile on the grass as a two-year-old. Um, I think um, I really like him in this spot, uh, despite the trip from California. And I think um, his connections will have a pretty pretty good idea of where to run him next um, should he run well in this race. So I'm going to pick him on top. <coughs> he might even be the uh, the third choice out of the mm. California horses because he uh, might be, the yeah. usual QT yeah. will be the first and, and the other California horse is the one that you like, yeah. Yeah. Right. Victor's yeah. Cry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, yeah, I like Victor's Cry. I, for these mile races, I always try to look for a horse that's a miler. Yeah. And the usual QT to me, I think he wants further. I mean, I really wanted to pick it. I pick would him, agree, but yeah. I think he wants more ground, and I think um, his schedule is pretty tough. Um, running in the Eddie Reed and the Pacific Classic, I think yeah, it might just be too much for him. I think Straight Story to me is another very good miler that's in here, but to me the best of the milers is Victor's Cry. Um, that win in the Shoemaker was was good. I mean, he just beat um, Corellian, who might not be the best in the world, but and I think it's a good horse, and he's improving. Got a great recent work and Nakatani going to ride him. Um, I don't think he'll be too far off the pace. So I think he, he should be right there. And I think he'll be a little bit of a price too. He does look like he's getting yeah. good right now. He's, he's in yeah. good form. Yeah. yeah, definitely improving, yeah. yeah. Well, you mentioned um, horses that are milers. I think I got the, the best miler here in Famous Name, who's mm -hmm. who's five for five at the, mm -hmm. at the mile distance. So uh, I'm with you. I like horses that are, that are uh, you know, you know, like eight furlongs, and, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, like I said, he makes his North American debut, and um, you know, he was sixth last out in a uh, in a Group One against some of the best turf horses in the world, but before that, he had hit the board in nine straight races, so he's in really good form. Six of those or six of those races were, were stakes wins, um, and uh, you know, they're they're pointing him to the to the Breeders' Cup Mile, so this is his prep for that. Like I said, five for five at the distance. I also like the fact that he's been carrying a ton of weight in Europe. You know, he's carried anywhere from 131 to 138 pounds. Mm -hmm. um, so he should get a big weight break over here, which I think will be um, to his advantage. And um, I assume he's going to get his regular rider in. And it's owned, he's owned by Judmont, who won this race um, a year ago. So um, connections are strong, too. So I'm going with uh, Famous Name. 
Who are you guys playing with your other horses? Well, I've got Crowded House on top. I'm using uh, your horse, Famous Name. And uh, quite frankly, I hadn't come up with a third uh, horse, but I'm leaning toward Grand Adventure. Um, the local horses, I think, are pretty strong in this race, um, and it wouldn't surprise me if one of them or more um, hit the board in the exotics. So. Okay, I'm going to use um, Court Vision, who runs well off the layoff, and I think he'll, he's, in, he's ready to go. Um, and also... Um, Long shot, should be a, a, a long shot, Riviera, Riviera mm -hmm. Cocktail, who's so. trained by uh, Neil Drysdale, who's won this race a record four times. He needs to step up a little bit, but, um, you know, all about the connections for me here. Yeah. Who do you got, Tim? I'm going to um, use Vector's Cry with um, Court Vision and um, Straight Story. Okay. I think Straight Story will might be on the lead, close to the lead. I think he'll go a long way there. Yeah, we're we're all over the board here, which mm -hmm. means it, it's, it's definitely, right. definitely, definitely a good, good betting race. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, now on Saturday they have the the two um, juvenile races at Woodbine, and they are the Summer Stakes and the Natama Stakes. The Summer Stakes is is for two year old males, um, and this came up a, a nice race, a field of eight, and um, it's for uh, like I said, juveniles going one mile on a turf and. Um, I don't know who, who the, the probable favorite might be Pluck, uh, the, the, the Todd Pletcher trainee who uh, is the only horse in here, I believe, with some stakes experience. And um, is that the one that you liked? Huh? I did, yeah. Um, he ran a, a strong race at Monmouth Park in the Continental Mile, was disqualified um, when he drifted in in the lane. Um, he's just really moved up all grass. And, um, of course, the Monmouth or excuse me, the Continental Mile was, was a two-turn mile at Monmouth. At Woodbine, it's, it's a, um, a one-turn mile, correct? Yeah, right. I believe so, right? Yeah. 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 So, yeah. Um, but uh, he won sprinting on the grass. I, I think that uh, this horse is in a really, really good spot. Yeah, Pletcher's won this race twice, and I believe, so uh, he knows how to mm -hmm. win here. Who do you like? Um, I like Pluck as well, but I'm also going to use um, four on I thought he was very impressive in his um, Saratoga win, maiden win. Um, earned actually a very big brisk figure, and uh, um, I think he'll be right there for George Okay. Weaver. And I'm going with Silver Leo, who's uh, undefeated in two starts on turf. Um, they were both sprint wins, but um, he won with a lot left in the tank in both of them. And uh, he's kind of a pace stalker. I think he'll get a good trip um, from a jockey who, local jockey who really knows his course well. and. Um, he had a sharp work on Monday, so um, I'm sorry, on Saturday. So I think Silver Leo is, is ready to continue his winning ways. So again, guys, we're all over the board here, which um, which means, who knows, maybe yeah. uh, one of us yeah. will win. So Good races, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, uh, Woodbine has a um, terrific card all, all weekend, five graded stakes. So um, look forward to that, mm -hmm. and I'm sure um, Twin Spires has some promotions, right? We have a Woodbine Mile Day Showplace win for a million points. Um, find details on twinspires.com for that. And also, um, we have the Breeders' Cup betting challenge on Twinspires. Um, and find details there at twinspires.com as well. Okay. Tom, did you have a, a quick pick for the Natalma? Uh, oh, yeah. Um, Roxy Gap looks like a uh, heavy choice in this race. She's three for three. Um, I'm going to pick She the Secret Blinkers on to turn the tables on her. She ran second to her in a, in a um, Woodbine Allowance race last time, but I like those two horses, She the Secret and Rock, Roxy Gap. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thanks to Twin Spires and Briss, our sponsors, and thanks to everybody for watching. For Tim and Tom, I'm Jason. Good day and good racing.